It's six in the morning, and uh, the best thing to do is stop at a bait shop, right? Let's go see what's going on with Chris. Oh, hey. Hey, guys, are you open? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's good to see you, hey. Can I buy some lures? Actually, I am going to buy something. Can I, can I buy, a, buy a buying thing? Buy a buying thing? Yeah, a vixen. <laughs> what's up, homie? How's it going? Chris got me a present. I don't think I'm gonna throw it today, but you guys might see it in the videos down the line. He has, that's the beauty of local bait shops. You can find a lot of stuff online, but sometimes guys like this have some sneaky stuff inside. Show it, just show it to me. I wanna see it, dude. Oh, I'm so excited. Dude, it is bone. Yeah. He said he didn't have bone. He was teasing well, me. We're out of bone. Bone vixen, okay. We go to the lake. Very nice. Dude, the, <laughs> the packaging hasn't changed in 20 years either. <laughs> you still look nice. <laughs> wow, wow, that hurts. That's gonna make the video. What is going on, homies? Welcome to Mikey Balls Fishing. I got my good buddy with me, Chris Kangaroo right there. We are on a really cool place. This is what is called the Rainbow River, and it's, it's not a rainbow because of that. It's a rainbow because it is gin clear and it is spring fed. This water, you can see down 10, 12 foot, which is absolutely crazy in Florida. But I have had the experience here where literally you can see 10 pounders swimming around. Doug Hannon used to shoot underwater video back here in the 90s and, and do the, some of the stuff. Giants, 12s, 11s, 10s, 9s, 8s swimming. But guess what you couldn't do? catch them. Yeah, that, that was always the trick. So what we're going to do today, and Chris kind of put me onto this, we're going to slang. Hey, Chris, you got one down there? Show me that one. What do you got? Well, we started. We're going we're to start gonna slang that, right that thing right there. It's a six cents draw. And then my backup is up, He's up here. Deck. Let's take a look. He's also got El Bucameister. That's that's the new glide bait from Mike Buca right there. Well, what's really cool about those is, is these fishy chiners a, a lot in here. And so you have gin clear water, really big baits, and it's hard to get them to commit to your standards. So we're going to see what we can do if we can commit to some big baits, see if we can catch some big bass. It's kind of in the mood. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I thought you were going to catch him in the oh. tail, bro. <laughs> He about sniffed that thing. He's still perturbed. Yeah, he sees a boat, that's the problem. But what's interesting is we're actually sight fishing. You know, it's like the late end of summer and Chris is actually seeing these fish and throwing to them. And nine times out of 10, they don't bite. Actually more than that. Like usually like this time of year, their, their commitment level, it's like a chick or a dude, you know, commitment levels pretty low, dude. You know, want to flavor, want to sample the scene a little bit, not willing to commit. But the water is super clear and we're in, I think we're in like, that we're in about six and a half, seven feet of water. You can see straight down to the bottom. So even a little shallower than that, you can, you can see them real clear. They show up as like kind of like dark kind of shadows. And he's looking for them, casting past them, and then doing this retrieve right here. Just like a little pulsated deal. And what that does is it causes that glide to kind of dart back and forth. And then he uses kind of a different kind of reel, like makes it a little quicker, a little more darty if he sees one kind of getting interested in it. But it's all about evaluating the mood of the fish, making a long cast in this super clear water, identifying where they're at, using a good pair of polarized sunglasses, and hopefully closing the deal. Got his first swim bait fish. Dude, on the buka. On the buka. On the buka. Got him. Woohoo! Chris, way to go, man. Oh, monster. I got it. The hook is in the thing, dude. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Oh, my God. Can you show that thing off? Giant. On the phone. Beautiful fish, Chris. Way to go, dude. Nice job, dude. Way to go. That was bad to the bone. All right, Chris. What an absolute giant, dude. You're, and that's your first big swim bait fish, right? right? That's my first swim bait fish. God. First on the glide. On the old Bukaster. The Buka. Dude, Mike what? Buka himself promised me. What a great vase, so, dude. All right, let's get it. through it, I'd catch big. Oh man, 
you feel, Chris? That was awesome. That was caught me off guard. Got to watch the whole thing happen. It's just a whole different way of fishing than, you know, just flipping or throwing stuff. We asked the question earlier on TikTok if it was better to flip or do that. There's nothing like watching that fish eat that thing, especially a nine inch swim bait. It's crazy. But thank God for Mike Buka telling me to throw that. <laughs>